Oh, goodness. We're talking about tarts and ice cream with Chef Eddie from AZ Food Crafters. Oh, yes. Fresh peach tarts. Oh, my goodness. It's peach season, right? Yes, it is. And how do you pick a perfect peach? Yeah, unless you go out to the farm and pick it off the tree and it's the perfect mm. ripeness, you got to kind of work with what you can get at your local grocery store. At the farmer's market, you're going to find your locally grown peaches. And you just want to pick a fruit that's nice and firm. The, the more ripe that it is, the more ready to use it is. So if mm -hmm. you're going to get ripe peaches, you got to use them right away. And that would be, you know, do you suggest a riper peach for like a tart? For, well, no, if you're going to, if you're going to use a tart, a you want a little firmer okay. so when it cooks down, you still have a bite of peach and you don't get a jam. All right. Well, Chef Eddie is always uh, teaching us here. So we're going <laughs> to, we're going to construct this peach tart. So you've sliced all of We've your peaches. We've sliced the peaches and we left the skin on. You can peel them if you like, but I like the feel of the skin on there. Mm -hmm. And so to that, we're going to add, uh, for the recipes on Line, a tablespoon of cornstarch. Okay. And then we're going to add like four tablespoons of sugar. Not too much. Just well, I was going to ask you half if, a little bit. If the peach is really, really sweet, can and we pull back? You can pull back. And in fact, you may end up not adding any uh, of the sugar on okay. there. So then this is a little Madagascar vanilla bean paste. Now, what is vanilla bean oh, paste? Is, how is that different teaspoon. than extract? This is more of a concentrate using some of the vanilla beans. So you're going to get some of the speck in there. And it's actually going to add less liquid to your recipe with something like this. You don't want to have too much liquid in the recipe so that it doesn't make your crust soggy. Okay. So if you want to take a couple of those and yep. set them up on there. And it. then with this, we finish this with a little bit of lemon zest. Just to give it a little pound, some great Ooh, flavor. Nice and and you guys make all of your crusts fresh yes, in house. Yes, that is our house crust. We make uh, every week. Mm. It's fresh made with some great butter. And then you just take your peaches and you start them in the that. center. Oh, look at that! And then just rustically fold over your edges. And this is and, and this is the uh, finished yep. product. You bake them here. for about 20 minutes uh, in 400 degree oven until they're nice and golden brown. The peaches are cooked through, and, and I they're like ready that there's to go. a lot of fruit and not so much of the dough. Even though your dough <laughs> right. is, is amazing. And I want to come down here because earlier we did the creme brulee. Yes. And you. I, I said, well, what is this? These are the untorched creme brulee. Those are the untorched. And tell us the three different flavors you have. We have a dark chocolate ganache. The center is a sea salt caramel, and you add the sea salt at the last, and our vanilla bean. Wow, and you guys do all of these? We do house. all of this. We can do this for you if you're doing something special. Just bring us your containers. Mm -hmm. but we, otherwise, we have them in the little And foil. I didn't even realize you could do chocolate. That's chocolate, really dark amazing. Chocolate is and then you guys, look how precious this is. Yeah. Would this not make a Mother's Day perfect yes. brunch dessert right here with the hearts on it? Oh, I love that. And we can come to your restaurant, and we can actually get this stuff to go. Yes, you You'll can. freeze it for us? Well, freeze it for you or have it fresh for you. The pies you want to probably take fresh. We'll make those, right. you know, call us and we'll make them Do we fresh. Need to for make, you. We need to make reservations for You our pie. should, yeah, you should, just so that you can this. ensure you're going to get oh your pie. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, can you say delicious? That's peach pie right there. Oh, my goodness. Peach pie and the tarts. Is this not insane? I know. I know. Can I just show you that I just took a totally tacky bunch of flowers and turned them into something Look at spectacular? That. It's They're perfect. Gorgeous. For Look at that. I'm still, I'm still in awe. <laughs> I'm still in awe. It's amazing. Look at that. Look and scotch, it matches you. What Scott, you. Scotch tape will do, right? Yeah. And, a looks, tacky, and a tacky bunch of flowers. Absolutely. How beautiful does it dress a table like Look this? Look at that. It's perfect for Mother's Day. All I awesome. need now is a fork. <laughs> well, I tell you Who what. Who needs a fork? Yeah, what right? Do, what we got guys, the little mini hand pies. Absolutely. What are you guys doing new this weekend? Anything great? Well, we're, we're focusing on Mother's Day and we're, we're doing, you know, making all the dessert options for your uh, brunch or whatever you might be doing. Perfect. All right. Well, Chef Eddie's been so kind. He shared his recipe with you on SonoranLiving.com. Thank you so much. You're so welcome. We're getting ready Thank to dig you. in and eat. We love you, Eddie. Yes, we do. Thank you so much. We'll see you back tomorrow. God, this is so good. I'm ready for you. I think that one's a little.